Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. Something that I'm going to show you today is a tool called Azendu. And uh, for those who are kind of looking for team management tools, this is something to get started with. Um, obviously, I'm a heavy Slack user, as well as being able to try out uh, Asana as well. Uh, and I want to kind of go over what I feel about this product because it was recommended by Umberto and I'll put his name in the center of the screen right now because I think you guys, I haven't been able to find his Twitter, but um, I can definitely recommend checking him out because I think he is a really big fan of this. He recommended this as well and I appreciate um, his time sending me that. So, right, let's get stuck in. So when you sign up to a Zendu, um, you get a, I think, I believe it's a 90 day free trial. Um, and I mean, to upgrade it's, I, I will go into pricing in a bit, but it's, you have to pay per member of uh, your team. Uh, and obviously it's a very team focused application. What I've done to start off with is create a workspace. Um, and essentially that's where you can get started, but you can have my organizations, which is a place where you can store all of your projects or activities. So as you can imagine, this is a very similar to the other services. Um, from visuals straight away when you're starting to use a Zendu, it does look very similar to Slack uh, and it has the very strong functionality that's very similar to um, Asana, but it works in a slightly different way. It kind of blends a bit of Twitter's functionality with a bit of Todoist's functionality. I'm kind of comparing this to a lot of different things here. Um, so here you have activity and this is where you can see all of the teams uh, progress, you know, any polls that people are adding. Uh, any messages to the team, you know, you can add emoji, which is great. And you can even attach files, uh, directly share them with the team from Dropbox, Evernote, Box, and Google Drive. So the most exciting feature that I saw was my tasks. And I'll tell you why, because I think this is a really impressive task processing system. So here, what you can do is add a task to your now box, which essentially is a list um, where you can add and actually focus on all of those tasks at a given time. Um, let's say I added a task, let was test two over here, um, and I wanted to add it into now. What I can do from adding that task there is I can actually plan it for later, which means it will go into this box here, which is the plan for later box. Someday maybe, which you know you can come back to any time. Um, and then obviously completed goes into here, and any tasks I follow in the team goes into there. You can also, you know, really dumb down what they are, you know, what the completed tasks of the whole team are. You can build your own filters too. But I really like the way this worked because I could, you know, ah, oh, damn, I haven't done that task. I can quickly you know, tomorrow and it goes out of the stream properly. Um, I mean, obviously to do it with this, it, go, it will go down here, um, but this actually moves it to a separate filter and it comes back into now when it's relevant, which is really, really powerful. So as you can see, uh, what you can also do uh, is assign a subject and the subject is essentially a project and you can add subjects down here uh, and you can add a purpose and add, add members to it. Uh, which is great. Um, it's a good way to start organizing. Obviously, it brings it away from just being a project management application. Uh, it kind of it's a subject management application. No, it's a it's a good way to name a project that because obviously a lot of the time uh, you can distinguish what's the difference between the task and the, and the subject. So from up here, you can create a subject, but you can actually create a subject from adding um, it to here. Oh, you can see Grammarly uh, actually comes over stuff sometimes, which is a bit annoying. So up here in the right hand side, you can sync uh, all of your tasks with your calendar. You can import directly to Evernote. You can export to Evernote and also export to JSON and G, uh, CSV, which is fantastic. Over here, you can add members. So adding members is a really simple process. They get a invite and obviously you can get them going, uh, which is handy. Obviously in the free trial, I believe you can add a few members. After that, they're going to be priced. Down here, you have direct messages, very similar to Slack, uh, but as you can see, very Twitter-like. You can start direct messaging with people, uh, which is super, super valuable. Up here, you can see your profile information, uh, and if I click into here, you can see all of the tasks and documents that are, connect, uh, that are related to you. You can also connect your apps down here, but you can do that through the account settings page too. So through here, you can see all the notifications. You can see the personal settings here with all of the details towards, you know, passwords and, and being able to format things to your liking. And here you can connect Evernote, Dropbox, Box, 
email, so you can turn emails into tasks, which is powerful. Calendar, I wouldn't heavily recommend using tasks with your calendar, um, although you know that's something I'm working on at the moment. And Zapier, so that you can automate any activity. You can even see uh, device information over here from what apps you've signed in on. You can change the background, which is great. Another really useful thing so that it doesn't seem too dull, uh, although obviously um, that's something that's totally up to you, which is quite cool. Um, over here in subjects, so this is a project essentially. What I like about this is it's more refined. So over here you can see the activity of your team, completed tasks, and you'll be able to see all of the stuff that your team is working on, which is really powerful. I like the way they've done the purpose here uh, too. And you can see all of the activity down here. And you can even see how many messages have been sent within this project specifically, which is, is quite valuable. But clicking into here, you can actually see the tasks that are related to that specific project. Uh, and you can dumb down what tasks everyone else are doing, which is powerful. So again, very Asana-like. You can even see it via calendar. This is Asana-like again, but obviously uh, a Zendu's take on it, um, and obviously filter it down per week and per member, uh, which is really powerful. And even analytics, where you can go a bit deeper in seeing what completed projects are. And obviously this is very similar to a leadable feature. This can be really valuable in being able to see what, you know, how everyone's doing and whether they're being productive or not, uh, which is fairly powerful. Up here, just a little note, you can make your subjects secret, so you can make your project secret or archive it or even cancel membership to that specific one uh, and edit the information here. Just some niggle piggles, uh, you can uh, see notifications here, so that's where all your team stuff's gonna come up. You can search, quite powerful search, I tried it out earlier, uh, really valuable. Up here, you can see the settings page for your organization. Here's my uh, workspace, you can add a team icon, you can add team name and also uh, allow others to invite and even uh, kind of talk about enabling uh, invitation links. So really powerful stuff. And obviously that there is the email you can send. Uh, you can create tar email emails into tasks, which is pretty powerful. Um, let's just quickly go through Azendu's um, abilities uh, when it comes to uh, using it for an organization. So this is a kind of pricing um, for like one user, it's 667 um, and that's obviously a yearly rate. Um, so 667 per user per month. Uh, and obviously if you're doing it monthly, it's $8, uh, eight, eight euros, sorry. So it's about seven pound um, on pricing. So you can actually see here, you can calculate, you know, I've got five of my team, it's gonna cost me 40 euros a month, um, including VAT, so 48 euros a month. Uh, but you can see other tool, other people are using this tool, uh, you know, Netflix, Kiss Metrics, Box, all users of the application. And what actually do you get in the premium? You get unlimited workspaces, you get unlimited integrations, you get unlimited sharing uh, and storage, of course, and assigned tasks to team members. So you can't do that in the previous one. Um, and obviously admin controls and phone support. So anyway, guys, that is a Zendu. Uh, I highly recommend it if you're using Teams. I found it a little more intuitive than using Asana. Asana been, seemed to be very heavy on web, um, so it's definitely worth checking that out. Um, and it's something that I recommend for teams that want something really simple to go on. Um, and it seems to be really powerful and really useful. Um, and I think you can get it while you're on the web. So just to be clear on that, um, I wanted to be clear on that, you can download it on Mac, you can download it on Linux, and you can download it on Windows as well. Um, so that's quite powerful, very, very useful for Teams especially. You can download it on Android and iOS too. Um, so that's a really valuable asset to have obviously on the go. It's probably a must actually for most team management tools. I'll probably take some time to check out the Android app uh, and obviously the iPhone app, but it's something that is probably on my list for later. So thanks very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and let me know what your thoughts are on a Zendu. And I really appreciate Umberto for sending me this, this one over because obviously I like to cover as much as I can. Thank you very much, everyone. Have, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.